Hi. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the Mukie trolley speaker. I believe they call it a trolley speaker because it has some wheels on the back so that you can carry the speaker with you easily as it rolls along the floor. One of the things they don't tell you is just how heavy the speaker is. It's almost 40 pounds and uh, built very sturdily. It also has carry handles on the top, as you can see, and handles on the side, like more conventional audio equipment. So I imagine you could stack these on their sides as well if you needed the space. Now we can look a little bit at the individual controls. On the top of the unit, we'll start with the power on-off switch. There is also an LED switch that turns on some lights on the front, as we'll see shortly. There are two separate line inputs for microphones. There is a USB or miniature SD card input for MP3 songs. If you've got an album, for example, recorded on a jump drive or small memory chip. There's also an auxiliary input where you can directly couple a cell phone or some other source of audio line level input. And then there's the charging input to plug into the wall to charge the battery. This little LED indicates red when charging and green when the unit is charged. To control the sound, we have some microphone controls, the echo, amount of echo in the public address portion, and also the microphone volume is independently adjustable. And this works with either the microphone inputs directly or a wireless microphone accessory that comes with the unit. I'll show you that shortly as well. There's a conventional treble and bass and volume controls for the main audio input, the music that you might be playing. And then there are some other controls for the mode which can be changed from an FM radio or a line input or Bluetooth. There are some controls to go back and forth among FM stations or MP3 files if you're using those. They can also be used to control something like Spotify if you've got it hooked up with Bluetooth. And there is a recording button and a microphone priority button. The unit from the front has two large 10 inch woofers that you can see here. There's also two two inch mid-range speakers and a horn tweeter that's very difficult to see but it is back there in the back and that is the five speaker complement that you have in this unit now we're going to turn the unit on and it will come on with the message let you know how charged the battery is and tell you what mode it's in right now it's for line input which corresponds to the auxiliary direct connect input here. You can switch the mode to change to FM radio or to Bluetooth and it will connect to whatever is nearby that you decide to link to it with the Bluetooth mode and then going back to the line mode. As I said before, the microphone volume is for microphones that are hooked up directly or via wireless mode. And the volume for the microphone is independently adjustable from the volume of the unit itself. So you can easily override whatever main audio signal that you're using for the unit to speak as a DJ might do for a dance, or perhaps you have some music playing in a uh, ballroom and someone needs to make an announcement. There are 
several accessories that come with the unit. Of course, there is the instruction manual. There is a direct connect, male-to-male -male connector cable for a, for example, cell phone, earphone to the unit to play music off of the cell phone or some other audio source. There is a complete remote control to move through music in the MP3 mode or to control other devices that might be linked through Bluetooth. There is, of course, the charging unit to charge the battery. There is another audio cable that can be used to connect to turntables, tape decks, CD players, and the like. And finally, there is this remote microphone. It's wireless and has a simple power switch on or off and has a couple of batteries that can be used in the base to power the unit. All in all, a pretty complete set of accessories for jumping right into working as a DJ or some kind of a public address system. And I imagine you could buy two of these units, serve them from the same audio source, and be quite happy with a large dance hall filled with music. As I noted earlier, you might be able to use two of these units in a very large dance hall or concert hall to make announcements or play music. One unit alone, though, is quite sufficient for a pretty large area. I tried it out in a pretty large hall, and uh, it was loud enough to make my ears ring. Uh, it, uh, it's, it's specified in having a thousand watts. I'm guessing that's around a thousand watts peak power. Um, but it easily has several hundred for driving in all of the speakers and can get just about as loud as you desire. This unit also has some lights on the front that I wanted to show you. When we turn it on, we can also turn on or off the lights using the special switch. And you can see that they will cycle through several different colors. This can provide something of a light show perhaps if you're having a dance party. Also, the mid-range speakers have embedded lights around, and when you have the unit going full volume, which I won't be doing for this video, but when it's very close to closer to the maximum volume, the lights get brighter and brighter around the mid-range speakers. Another feature that this unit has that may not be readily apparent is if you're in a city or near a city, it will automatically search all of the FM stations that are around and store them in presets so that you can advance using the controls on the top panel through each of the presets to your favorite FM station. This is handy if you don't have a ready source of music or perhaps you run out of music and you still would like to have something playing. Uh, all in all, I think that's a very nice feature and somewhat unusual for a unit of this type. I like this unit, and I think you'll like it too. Thank you very much. Bye for now.
I got a name. 